Okay, what's up guys? Um oh I said what's up guys. Um <laughs> What's up nabs? It's Platinum TDX the Dragon Extreme and welcome to another Dragon Ball Xenoverse based video. Um today I'll be talking about the PC release. Now, as you guys probably most likely if you don't know, um I'm a PC gamer. Um well for the most part. Um I wouldn't mind buying Xenoverse for PS3. Uh, mainly because I'm probably most likely okay. Yeah, I'm not getting a PS4. So um, <clears throat> um, the reason why is because I believe PC gaming is like better, which it is. But I mean, console gaming has its benefits. But um, PC is where I spend most of my time, like most of my gaming time and editing time and Photoshop time and everything else like schoolwork and everything, it's PC. Console, the only time I get on my PS3 is if I want to play like an exclusive, like Uncharted. And Xbox has no exclusive, so I'm not going to play that. Um, that used to be where I used to spend all my time. Like, I have a PS3 and a 360 and a Wii, but like, because last gen was my shit. But uh, this gen, ah, nothing really floating my boat for a console right now. Um, if I was to get a console, it would be a PS4. But let's stop all that nonsense. Um, so, the PC release of Xenoverse is most likely going to be a port. Because let's think realistically. <clears throat> Bandai Namco is sort of new in the PC world. Like, not new as in, oh, this is, Naruto was their first game. But they're new, like, th they're exploring the PC market more. Like, because a lot of Japanese games are coming out as of recently. And... It's just really becoming more, uh, like, every every Japanese gamer is like, oh, coming for the PlayStation 4, and like a couple seconds later, and PC, and everyone's like, yay, and when Xenoverse was announced for PC, I think I was the only one jumping up and down, but, um, PC is gonna be a very critical place for Xenoverse, in my opinion, because... Firstly, it's a Dragon Ball Z game, and Dragon Ball Z already has a big audience as it is. Like, it's a big-ass market. Like, everyone loves Dragon Ball Z. Like, I've read the Steam discussion page, and everyone's like, This game might be shit, but um, I'm gonna buy it anyway, because it's Dragon Ball Z. Who doesn't like Dragon Ball Z? And all the haters are like, Oh, I'm not gonna buy this game, but... Um, they have a mouse next to their name, which means they have the game, like, purchased. So, yeah, they have the game. <laughs> so, um... Xenoverse is going to be very critical for me on release, and it's going to be the shine, like, it's going to be the deciding moment in my eyes that Bandai Namco has crossed this threshold and can't turn back, which they did with Naruto in my belief, but they can't turn back to only console exclusives now, like, it, right now I think um, Storm 4 is only announced for PS4, unless it was already announced for all the rest of them, but I can't remember, but um... They can't, they can't do this anymore. They have to include PC. Um, Dragon Ball Z is at that point as well now where PC is just a standard. Like, even if it's a port. But let's get into the actual topic of the video. So, will the PC release be good? It has to be. Firstly, because uh, in my eyes, I haven't had a bad experience with the port from uh, Bandai Namco. Like, the Naruto ports, I'm, I haven't had any of the problems that everyone else was having. Like, I don't know why everyone was like, oh, it's a shitty port. My only problem was that it was capped at 30 frames per second. But, that that could have been avoided by them just taking the cap off. And yeah, I don't think you could take the cap off. And if you did, it didn't really change anything. So, it, it was a 30 frames per second cap. Um, and... A lot of fear going around on the PC is, will Xenoverse be a 30 FPS cap? I probably can confirm for myself that no, it won't be a 30 FPS cap. Because firstly, the reason why it was a 30 FPS cap um, for Naruto was because they didn't have 60 FPS uh, available for that game. They It was a console-based game. like It was meant for consoles, but they brought it over to the PC because an audience wanted it. And it did really good on PC, so they, re they released Revolution on PC. So, now, Xenoverse is coming to PC, and everyone's like, Oh, shit, it's gonna be a shitty port. Um, you, forget you guys are forgetting. This game is using a modified Street Fighter engine, which firstly means, 
Look, look at Street Fighter. Look at Street Fighter 4. I can run that game at about... If I had to take a wild guess, because I don't even have the game, but I have played it on my PC before. If I had to take a wild guess, that game felt like I was running at a butter smooth 120 frames per second. So, I don't know if I was actually running 120. It could have been 60, but it felt butter smooth. Like, it, as Black Super Saiyan would say, butter smooth. So... I really don't think that Xenoverse will be a 30 FPS cap. Like, why would they port the last gen version over to a next gen type thing? Like, PC has had 60 FPS longer than the consoles have been around. Most likely. I'm just exaggerating, most likely. But it's it's pretty likely that they've had P, uh, 60 FPS longer than the consoles have been around. Like, the uh, PS3 and 360. Um... <clears throat> But I don't think they have because I don't think 60 FPS. I don't think technology was like that. Um, they could have. I don't know. But I'm just being exaggerative. But they had it for a while. And consoles are just getting to that point. And still, most console games run at 30 FPS, 1080p. Um, <coughs> not Xbox. <coughs> 900p. <coughs> um, had to get that off my chest. Uh, it was something in my throat. <coughs> but, um, yeah. So, Xenoverse... It's most, like, most likely going to get a PS4 port just because of the fact that, firstly, it's the most enhanced version. And they said that they were going to give minor graphical tweaks to PC just because of the, like, advanced system options that PC has. Um, with PS4, you can't turn the settings down to low, so you can't really do that. But PC has that option on every game, so it's like you have to include it. It's like a basis standard. Um, and especially since they had it in Nar with Naruto games, so, like that's those are the options I'm expecting, like low, medium, high, super sampling off, anti-aliasing, you know, those type of things. If anti-aliasing, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not even in there. But from not from the Naruto graphical options, uh, it was super sampling, V-sync, full screen, and like low, medium, high. That was it, um, and your resolution, of course. But um, yeah, so Xenoverse is really, I, I definitely think it's going to get a p console, um, I mean not a console, a PS4 port, because it won't get its own release, because it's not being that uh, served. So yeah, what do you guys think in the comment section down below? Let me know what you guys think. Um, do, would you guys like um, a PC like version instead of a port? And would you, like, what do you think the, the port's going to be like? Do you think it's going to be shitty? Do you think it's going to be good? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Platinum 2DX, the Dragon Stream. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!